Can't be, surely. It is, you know. I'm into a fish already. <laughs> so, good evening. Welcome back to Frugal Outdoors with myself, Dylan. Uh, and I just had a fish before I even had a chance to do my intro. So you'll see this and then you'll see me having a fish. But yeah, we're fishing, fishing, well, just down from Egypt Point. Uh, so basically we're fishing on the west side of Cowes. We just had a huge, the, the new uh, Kernard, uh, Kuenard, I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Uh, Queen Anne, I think it is the new, the new vessel, cruise ship just coming by. So there's about a thousand other people down here, which I wasn't expecting. So. Uh, yeah, hence I didn't do an intro straight away because I feel always a little bit anxious when there's loads of people around. But I just had a fish buzzing, first smooth hound of the year. Uh, not massive, maybe four pound, I would have said, three, four pound. I don't know, I didn't weigh it, I just put it straight back in. As soon as the, the bait hit the water, I'm fishing the ebb tonight. So it's swinging round in the tide. Always advised not to fish it, but it is a smaller tide. Uh, yeah, so it swung round. Next thing, slack line. I thought I can't be surely, so I picked it up. It was still pretty much in my hand. And uh, yeah, smooth down straight away. So I've got some crab tonight, and I've got some skid. But I'll go through all that later, and uh, do some baiting up in a second. <laughs> but yeah, buzzing. So welcome, welcome back to Frugal Outdoors with me, and we're fishing tonight. And I should be joined later by by Nobby, and uh, hopefully we can get into some more fish. Cheers. There we are, first one is out there. But, got a whole crab out. And it's moving, moving big time. Hopefully that'll settle in a minute and then uh, I can let off a little bit of line. Should have probably let off some line anyway. Is it still moving? No, I think that is now settled. There you go. Hmm. Could be a pain in the ass. There we go. What's going on there? I just totally slack line here, man. What's going on? What's that? Joking, yeah? Let's just hit the water. Can't be, surely. It is, you know. I'm into a fish already. Can't believe that. Literally, that crab's just hit the bottom and we're into a fish. We're into a little hound. There we go. Let's turn that camera around. I've still been faffing about. So literally just chuck that out. There you go. And we got ourselves, you know, a nice sort of two, maybe three pound smooth hound. All the spots on the back. That crab literally just hit the water. 
Awesome, first hound of the year. I haven't even got a second bait out there yet. I might even be able to just whack a bit of squid on that crab and chuck it straight back out. How about that? Absolutely buzzing. Can't believe it. On the dongle as well. There we go. Another little show. <laughs> I'm chuffed. Straight into a fish. Look at that. Let's get this one back in. Let's try and find ourselves a bigger one. But we're in already. Yeah, it's got to be three, three, four pound all day long. Yeah, how about that, hey? That was cool as. Can't believe it. Well, that tide is running quite well. I mean, I, I've got a bream rig. Like I say, we've come out for smooth hounds tonight. But I would like, oh look, they've got all the jets going. Um, I would like to try and get a bream. Hence, I've got, got the Zolcron bass. But that tide is really hanking. And obviously I can only cast a five ounce cell. I've got six ounce on this with my dongle rig at the moment. Can't believe that. It just literally hit the water and I had a smooth ounce straight away. Um, so I might just give this a little flick out and just see. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. You never know. So I say, this is a 13 foot Zolcron bass. Casting weight is up to 150 grams. So I've got a five ounce lead on there. Little two at flapper with some bits of squid. But I like to say, I'll show you all of that in a second, but I'll just get this out. Might go up, cast it out a little bit further. I'm not gonna whack it. You never know, I might get hound on it. The idea is, later on, is to try and get a hound on this, which would be quite fun on a light rod. But we'll see how we get on with that at the moment. Anyway, let's stick that in there. Let's stick that on there. So I just need to keep an eye, <laughs> keep an eye on my rod. I'm so chuffed. Right, so, so I'm fishing a dongle. Basically, I'm fishing the lighter of my two rods, my, my everyday rods. I'm fishing the lighter of the two, just because it's a bit more fun. It's clearly getting out far enough because I've just got into a fish straight away. And on that, I've got a 3-0, single circle hook with a dongle on a pulley. And on the next cast, I'm going to put out a 2-0 because that's all I've got. I've got one 3 and I've got two 2 -0s. And I've got a bunch of normal pulley rigs, so... Worst case scenario, I'll just put out a normal pulley panel, but I don't really want to fish pulley panel if I can help it. If I can catch them with this, it's so easy to unhook, as you saw. I literally pulled the one hook out, and it was sorted. So, right, let's get a, let's get a crab. Because they are now defrosted. I mean, at some point, like I said, I have got a two up flapper on that one rod at the moment, um, but I will get rid of that. We're not going to fish the two up flapper all night. It was mainly just at the start while it's daylight. See if I can't pull out a cheeky little bream. And if not, then I will switch over and fish some hound baits on that as well. Sorry, I didn't even show any of that. I'm so busy looking at my rod. So basically what I did <laughs> is I took my crab and I snipped it from the head down about two thirds of the way down 
basically to its backside. Opened it up, thread it on my needle, and then bound it up. This is a shepherd's crook baiting needle, which means I can hook my braid onto the crook of the baiting needle. Nick my hook in the top of the uh, in the top of the bait, pull that a bit tighter, and then just bind it on. Like I say, it's not a very big bait this at all. Might actually whack a little bit to cram a uh, little bit of squid on the side of it. Yeah, a bit bit of guts. Bit of the insides of the squid. Let's get that on there as well. Just to bulk it up a little bit. Because it's not a very big bait. There we go. Loads. Not massive amounts of bait elastic. Like I say, I was still using that Baytex and it's really good elastic. So there we go, as you can see, look, got loads of juice and orange bits and bobs still oozing out of that, but there is underneath in there, there is a crab, but that squid's bulked it up a little bit. Just making it a little bit of a bigger bait, really. Where's my rag? Gosh, that would be basically my one fish of the night. Do you know what? I might just chuck that <laughs> straight out on the Zolcron just to see if I can get one. <laughs> oh, wicked. Absolutely chuffed to bits. I'm hungry, man. And I've had food. Right, come on, let's have a bite again. So yeah, that tide is dropping now. So I think low tide is around sort of nine, half nine tonight. So we're gonna fish it all the way down, fish it over low, fish it for a couple of hours, back up, so we can get the turn of the tide. And hopefully we can get into a few fish. I think I'll weigh the next one if I get another one. I will weigh it, because I'm... My guesstimations are never very good. I don't have enough experience to be able to guess what what a fish weighs. So I'm thinking if I weigh a couple tonight, it might give me a little bit more of an idea in the future. But yeah, it'd be nice to see one of those rods slam over again. Oh. All right, so Mr. Mr. Slamfish himself has decided to rock up. And it's quite controversial this, isn't this it, mate? Is a little bit, they say it shouldn't be done. And what, what, done. what you got on there then? This is Berkeley, Berkeley 6. Braid. Braid. Eight strand, braid on eight your, strand, round, on your multiplier. This is 0.21. Yeah. And it is 52 pound breaking strand. 52 pound. Jeez. Oh, you got what? You got a leader on there, then, have you? I've got a full size leader on there. Yeah. Just because I'm frightened of the cast, obviously. Yeah, and yeah. And potentially, if I am fishing for eels with it, I don't want the braid too close to the dangerous end. It's a nice top you got on there, mate. Well, it's all what? It's fine, isn't it? Yeah. I like in a logo, right dead centre. Well, that one. Dead centre, yeah, that's you know, cool, isn't it? Right. Who's that guy? Oh, he's all right. <laughs> yeah. A bit of a pleb. <laughs> a bit of a pleb. <laughs> Rumour has it, he's a bit really of an idiot. Clean work to use, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, we'll chuck it out, let's have a look. Just watch watch out for that lamppost, eh? <laughs> so, what do you say? 0.21. So, probably goes quite away then. Didn't even attempt the birdie. Comes off as clean as some, it cleaner than the mono. It's beautiful. You just gotta not be scared of it. 
Wendy, look how far away your tip eye is. It's quite away, isn't it? Your first eye, sorry, not your tip yeah. eye. Is that you've had that built, have you? Uh, I've had these eyes put on in this position. Yeah, it's had four or five sets in probably four or five different places, I think, since the testing. Yeah. Um, obviously, all the Zolcron boys have had it up the field. Um, I think it did 264 meters. I think was its best car. What do you reckon you're hitting it with it? What then? I would, I would like to think that was an easy 200 yards. I mean, it's a long way. It's difficult because, you know, I'm fish this is my fishing gear. I reckon gear. it was about 120. Well, mate. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got to be honest, I haven't seen anyone swing a lead around on the beach like you do, so. we we'll have another little go through here, see, if we can, see, see how long it takes before it's out of sight. Right. Enough faffing. Let's get this one out as well. Give you a quick show of it before we chuck it out. And hopefully... Like I say, we can get a hound on it. Ooh! Tell you what I do need to do though. I've got a, uh, that's a six ounce gripper on there because it's meant to go out on the other one. So I'm going to quickly change that lead, put a five ounce on there and chuck it out. So there we go, that's that bait. Let's hopefully try and get a fish on it. Well, there we go. So, first casualty there, I've just lost a rig, which is unfortunate. So I've just changed my spool over. So I've got leader again. It's quite unusual on this section to lose gear, to be honest. It's not, well, it's not supposed to be snaggy, but, but I just lost one, so it's definitely slightly snaggy. So I'm just going to quickly chuck out pulley panel this time round. Short one, really short, smooth hound fishing. So it's only literally a two foot rig body. And then obviously slightly shorter on the hook snood. I've got a 3.0 there. And then there's another 3.0 there. So I've got 3.0 Aberdeen, 3.0 full circle, bit of rig tubing, help that stay in place. I'll quickly chuck a crab on here. In fact, I've got some prawns. I'll chuck a prawn on and hopefully get into a fish. So all I'm doing is I'm just cut off the head so all the juice can still come out and I'm just going to chop that tail off with that then I'll bind that on my tool and get that on a hook. Apparently the old prawns are quite good but we shall see. This is just Lidl's prawns so. But like I said I have got crab as well and I have got some squid. And all I'm going to do with that hook, just getting it in the actual body, I'm going to bring it all the way up so it's coming out of that head. There you go, look, you can see all that juice coming out of there now. So it's nice and proud. Keep an eye on that rod, because you never know, it might go over. Plenty of whipping on it. The only 3-0 dongle I've got as well. Just a little bit, a little bit unfortunate because I really wanted to give it a really good go tonight. There we go. So that is how I bait up a prawn. So you've got one hook at the top, one hook at the bottom, coming out the other side. Nice and neat, let's get it out. Right, let's try and get this one. Not in a snag this time. So this is on my braid anyway. The spool now has got braid, but nobby has got some leader, so I will re-spool in a minute. Some leader. Let's get this one out. The tide is dropping quick. So we've got six ounce on this, five ounce on the other one. Let's 
say Nobby's not even Nobby's not even fishing yet. He's too cool for school. He takes his time. He's like, yeah, if there's fish out there, I'll get one. Whereas I'm <laughs> always panicking and in a mad rush to get my gear in the water. But I'm fishing, he's not. I've had a hound and he hasn't. Although I did have it before he got here. There we go. Let's have a look then, see if we've got a hound on the Zolker on, shall we? It's on the dongle, so I'm just going to reel into it. And we are on! Yeah, boy! Yeah, mate! Oh, it's a dogfish! <laughs> so there's me picking it up thinking I had a hound it's dogfish so I need to get another rig out there sharpish hmm so I've got myself in a little bit of a pickle here with my lines but hopefully you see when we get a bite what you got mate you got yourself a dogfish like I had. One of them uh, <laughs> ones. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, don't say it's gone light, is it? Has it gone light? Not on there? Yeah, it is. You're just milk, you're milking it, isn't you? Oh, Bobby! <laughs> Look what I just found! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Look at what I just had. I just had this. What did I catch it on, Nobs? I caught it on a peeler crab. Uh, on a pulley panel, I think it was. <laughs> no, it's not my fish, Nobbies. <laughs> but how big do you reckon that is then? Five, maybe five pound. Like I said, I was totally guessing earlier, so mine was probably maybe three and a half, four, if I'm lucky. But yeah, beautiful looking fish. But it could be a good sign anyway. Hopefully we'll get a few tonight. So at the moment, I'm fishing a prawn on the bigger rod. Not that you can tell, because they're pretty much crossed over. They're completely tangled. But hopefully, if I do happen to get into a fish, I'll be able to bring him in. But yeah, I'm fishing a prawn on one side and I'm fishing a crab on the other side at the moment. Like I say, we've all got crab tonight, so we've all got crab, we've all got some prawns. I've got a bit of squid. Ben's here now as well, he's got a bit of squid. So yeah, hopefully, boys, we're getting to a bit of slamming, eh? So this is the, this is the uh, the bait I just had that dogfish on. As you can see, because it's on the dongle, that bait is barely touched. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to bulk that up with another peeler on the side of that. Just so there's there's still scent in that. So all it is going to do is it's going to make a slightly bigger bait with more scent. Hopefully entice something, and it means I don't have to strip it all down and start again bulking up. So there we go, all I've done is I've taken the back off that crab, left the legs on, I've taken the big claws off, it's claws, taken as much off the bottom as I can, left the legs as they are, and I've taken the back off it, I'm just going to bind it onto the side. It's just going to look a little bit more natural. <clears throat> wow, it's quiet at the minute. I don't know what to do. I've not long had some fresh baits out there. We've got two nice fresh ones ready to go. Still just basically crab on one side, prawn on the other. Ben's just had a dogfish, so at least we've all had a fish now. 
but yeah, I'd like to get into another, uh, definitely like to get into another hound. It's, the water's so still. I think I can see little sort of tiny little knocks on my rod tips and I've got a feeling it's probably crab. But I think what I'll do a ne next next cast I'll put the um I'll put the tip lights on as well. Make it a bit easier for you guys hopefully to see a bite. I really want people to see cuz I leave it running the whole time. I really want people to see that slam down of a of a smooth hound or slack line ping back up but Hopefully we won't have too much longer to, to wait. Like I say, that tide is getting right out there now. I think in probably about another hour's time, we're probably gonna hit the bottom of the tide and then it will start flooding. And hopefully just on that bottom of the tide, on that turn, it will switch it on. Like I say, there's a, quite a few anglers out tonight. Well, yeah, I was in two minds of whether to go bass fishing or smooth hound fishing tonight. And after I spoke to, to Nobby, Mr. Mr. Slamfish Isle of Wight, he said he was here last night and he had a few fish, so... When any luck, when that tide drops, we can get into some as well. <sighs> okay. There we go. That's the next one to go out. Oh, there we go. That's better, isn't it? Look at that. Beauty. Legs hanging off the bottom. Let's try and get into a fish, shall we? Very, very quiet. Losing a little bit of gear, which is a little frustrating. Right. Chuck this one. See if you can actually see. Take you down the bottom there. And we'll just give this one a bit of a whack. Keep this one a little bit to the left, I think, this time. Seems to be a bit of a snag almost directly in front of me. There we go. Hopefully, that one will be safe. There we go. Right, got them both off way, so it looks super light, but it's really not. We've got a street light that's just come on above me, and I've got my light on. But you can see both the rods. They could probably move you a bit closer, couldn't we? Hopefully, get into a bit of action in a minute. Right, so there we go. As you can see there, all I've done is I've strapped another crab. So there's basically two crabs on there. I mean, there's loads of juice, loads of gunk. It's got to entice something, surely. I mean, come on. Chucking the baits out there, just not getting the fish at the moment, but still plenty of time. Like I say, it's not even properly dark yet be really nice just to get another bite let's say I've had a I've had a smooth hound and a dogfish so far smooth hound basically when I put the rod in the stand on the first cast I got a fish oh oh there we go What happened there? I just saw something move. Busy yakking over there with the boys. Definitely looked like it bent over. Oh, 
Just came running over. I'm sure that went over. There we go. 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 Oh yeah. Woo! Oh mate. It's a good one. So it's on the bass rod. <laughs> Oh yes, yeah, we're into one here. I thought I saw it dip down. Oh, go on, baby. Oh, whoa. Mate. Mate, this is a good fish. Oh, yeah. Mate. Really, really pulling. It's coming back up. <laughs> oh, coming towards me now. Getting some line on it. Whoa, it's going to make it another lunge. Whoa, whoa, mate. Coming back up, I think. Whoa. Ooh, mate. Right, it's just coming over. We have to go under the other rod here now. Yeah, it's a proper one, this one. Proper one, proper one mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good one. Yeah, mate, 10. Is it? 10. Mate, that's a proper one. <laughs> Fucking easy, 10. <laughs> <laughs> you <been> ran. <laughs> oh, yeah, mate. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Oh, lift up to perfection as well. <laughs> <laughs> Banging. <laughs> Come on, mate. That's a proper one, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, mate. Look at the hook on that. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, look, on the dongle. Oh, that's mate, that's a single, that's a mate, two. Mate, I, I reckon he could go 12, 12 maybe. Yeah. Hey, look yeah. at that, 2-0. Oh. Yeah. Hellfire. Yeah. You got him, yeah? Mate, Jesus Christ. It's a fish a slab, mate. I'll that get, is a slab. Go and get the scum. Well, there we go. Let me turn my voice off, yeah. Oh, that has got to be my biggest hound. Oh, look at that. That's a fish. That is epic. Mate, they are so strong, aren't they? Oh, look at that. 
<laughs> oh, that was on the bass rod and it felt like it was absolutely massive. Dog on bass, baby. On a dongle with a 2-0. Single 2-0. Let's try and... There we go. Look at that. Oh. So strong. There we go. Settle down. Right, we're just going to weigh it. But that... I reckon it's got to be my biggest hound. I'll be so chuffed if it's a double. It's I said when we got down here, if I get a double on the bass rod, it'd be amazing. All day long a double. All day long. Oh yeah, baby. Well, you might even go 13. Moment of truth. <laughs> 13. Oh, mate. Bang it. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Well done, mate. 13.5. 13.5. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> 13 pound five. Wow, man. Oh, thank you, mate. Well done, brother. Oh. Look at that. There we go. Beautiful fish. Absolutely stunning. A Tusa shark. Happy days. Beaut. Right, let's send this. I'm going to say puppy, but that is not a puppy, is it? Oh. 13.5. Oh, mate. Absolutely made up. That is my biggest smooth hound by a long way. I've never had a double figure smooth hound before. And I've got it on the bass rod, <laughs> which is what I really wanted to try and do, is get a decent fish on the bass rod. And it was on one of my dongles as well. Absolutely made up. Mate, I am shaking. Oh, yes. And that rod just ate it up. Epic. Yeah, baby! Oh, wow. I'm so chuffed I managed to get that on camera. 13.5. Mate, what a monster. I know loads of you have probably had far bigger smooth hounds. But for me, <laughs> that's just brilliant. <laughs> yeah, man, look at that. So that's what I had it on. Look, little 2-0 two -oh, two -oh circle hook on a dongle. I saw it go over and then it, nothing happened. And then it went over again, started taking a little bit of line. But I wasn't sure because it's on a light rod how big a fish it was and uh and it really really went so i had to give it a little bit of line I had to play with the drag a couple of times try and reel a bit back on and then it just pulled and wanted to pull the rod out of my hands but yeah we got it in man i'm so chuffed i managed to get it on camera yeah epic absolutely epic Yeah, I think that might take some beating for me. Like I said, I don't really get many smooth hounds. I mean, we're really lucky at, on the island and on the mainland, but the Solent, you get a really good run of smooth hounds, and we also get them on the back of the island as well. And uh, regularly, there's some 14, 15, 16, even 17 pound caught on the island each year. But yeah, got my double. Right, I'm going to just whack another crab onto the side of this and have it ready and think about changing that one on the right. But yeah, man, I am absolutely buzzing. So yeah, I've only got, like I said, frozen peelers and all I'm doing is I'm taking, taking the big claws off Take the back shell off the main shell. 
take a little bit of the gubbins off on the bottom. And then I'll literally bind this onto that. Poke a few holes in it. Because I'm not cutting it open, a lot of the juice isn't coming out. So when I've wrapped it up, I'll just grab my scissors and I'll poke, poke basically the back of the crab. Because as it, when you bind it up, that got that sort of balloons, and I'll just puncture that and just let some of those juices out. Right, let's get it. Oh, I'm still shaking. I caught it about 20 minutes ago. Oh, we've just been talking. There you go. So as you can see, I've literally just bound that onto the side. And you can see there, look, it starts ballooning. So then all I'm going to do is just grab my scissors, stab it a couple of times. There we go, look at that. And then it all starts oozing out. And then that'll be my next bait. Oh, slack hurt, slack line. Go on, mate. Oh, he's got it. Hang on. So Nobby just had a massive slack line and then it started pulling like a train. Good fish? Good fish, mate. Oh, it's coming right into you. This is a spot, isn't it, mate? Right by that ice cream parlour. Yeah, look. There it goes again. Right, let's go and have a little nose. Oh, yeah, real shame. Nobby's hooked into a fish and uh, went like a freight train. But it's got into a snag, unfortunately. So he's still down there now, trying to get it out. Giving it a bit of line, it'll take the line, but you can feel it rubbing up against something out there. But yeah, and it's still on, definitely still on. Yeah, last class. Right, so it's half past 10. Just gone. I am going to chuck out these two fresh baits right now and then my last cast. And then hopefully I can still get home for 12 o'clock. So let's get these in, get the fresh ones out there, and hopefully we can get one more fish before it's time to go home. Well done, mate. You got it out. What would that one come out at? 12? 12. Uh, 12, 13 and a half. 12, 13 and a half. Well done for getting it out, bud. A lot of patience there. Eh? You could have pulled that and you could have snapped your line, but you just held on and waited and waited and waited. Beauty fish, dude. Yeah, it is, look. Mate, they're nice. stunning, aren't they? That's a real nice fish. Yeah, mate, they are stunning. Absolutely amazing, mate. Oh. Pardon you. <laughs> Got your phone on. You, mate. Awesome, mate. Well done, dude. There we go. He finally got it out. Patience, patience, patience. So I was having a bit of a pickle. I got my lines tangled. And he managed to get it out. 12, 12, 12, I think it was. So I just about done him. But yeah, two fish over over uh, 10 pound, man, wicked. Right, I need to get this other one out. And then, like I said, they're my last cast. But fair play. <laughs> yeah, well that hasn't moved at all, so I'm going to bring them both in now. I say that, I keep looking at it just in case, but I don't think it's going to. But man, what a session. I mean, not exactly prolific with the amount of fish, but I say Nobby pulled a really nice one out, 12 pound odd, and I had that 13.5. It was my biggest smooth hound, so I'm absolutely made up about that. That's made the whole session, it's made my start of the year really. But like I said, I was in two minds whether to come out bass fishing or smooth hound fishing. And Nobby said, get yourself down the ice cream parlour. He had a couple of smooth hounds out of here last night. We'll have a go, see if we can't get one. And uh, we did, and got it on the Zolcron bass as well, so I'm really chuffed about that. <laughs> but mate, it just kept on going. I know, like I say, I've said before, I know lots of people have had far bigger uh, and regularly catch decent sized smooth hounds. But yeah, it was epic. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. It was nice to be able to share it with you all. I'm going to bring these ones in, figure out where I'm going to go next week. And uh, 
yeah until then oh and don't forget i've still got loads of these tip lights so have a look on the um have a look on the description of this video because there's a couple of links there that will send you off to ebay uh but yeah until the next one please take care stay safe and maybe i'll see you out there cheers